what's going on out there in YouTube land. Man of Land Trucking. I'm checking in. I'm about to give y'all a brief update. And uh, then we're going to jump into the video. Pretty sure you know what the video is because it should be in the title. But uh, basically, brief update what's going on with me. Uh, I dropped the load in Utah last, well, yesterday evening. Um, park basically like right down the street from the uh, receiver. They sent me a pre plan. I was supposed to come to Idaho, pick a load up, and take it to um, Michigan. Some of y'all not gonna believe me when I tell you this, but it's true. Uh, basically, if I would have got the load on time and ran it, I would have had like 4,000 miles for the week. Um, I was planning on not scanning the load in because I noticed like with my taxes, if I run anything over like 3,200 miles, they tax me so bad, it ain't even worth it. Like it's not worth me to scan the load in. So my plan was to run the load. It dropped on Tuesday at like two o'clock or something like that. I was gonna run the load, drop it, um, and then hold on to the paperwork and scan it in after the cutoff time or even scan it in on Wednesday. But I got here to the shipper um, and they told me they got something broke down in they, uh, whether it's their system or something, something broke down. And basically told me that they weren't gonna start loading trucks until six o'clock in the morning. They'll have somebody wave us in whenever they're ready for us and all that good stuff or whatever. So they got a good bit of trucks out here waiting. Or whatever. A lot of people done live and went to a truck stop or whatever. We got food on the truck. Your boy got plenty of food, Petey. So we're good to go. But anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna jump into the video or whatever and then um, I'm gonna give y'all a little, you know, tour of my truck and we're gonna sign out. So um, basically, I'm just gonna be talking about working out and um, Y'all listen to this, this is like an important message. Your money being long, like, hold on, we'll back up a little bit. Trucking is a good job, it's good money or whatever, you make good money, whatever, whatever. But your money being long is not worth your lifespan being shorter. Your money being long is not worth your lifespan being shorter. So with that being said, y'all know trucking is a, a bad lifestyle. Like a lot of people that drive trucks are overweight, obese, whatever you want to call it or whatever. Um, as y'all know, I told y'all in the last video, I put on about 40 pounds a good weight, so I work out um, almost every day. I told y'all I do the P90X and the Body Beast or whatever, and um, I work out inside the truck and I work out outside of the truck. Um, I do jogging and boxing and all that good stuff or whatever. But um, I got Snapchat too, and I had a lot of people ask me like, how do you even do all that inside the truck? Like, how you even do all that? So we are gonna get into it or whatever, and I'll give y'all a little brief uh, tour of my truck, and we're gonna go on the outside, I'm gonna show y'all my uh, my power rank. But, um, so, I'm in the front seat, of course, y'all can see, this right here is my refrigerator, I got some soda sitting on top and some water. Normally when I drive, it ain't like that, it's sit, actually sitting on the bed, but we've been in here, I've been playing a video game or whatever, which y'all see that in a second. And I got a fan right there, or whatever, it's just sitting there, I had it on earlier. But anyway, if you see this little dye in the black thing or whatever, that's actually the bench that I use. These red things right here are my weights, and that's my weight gainer, my uh, mass gainer that I take or whatever. So I'm gonna jump back in the back, show y'all that stuff, and give y'all a uh, tour of the truck while I'm back there. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, hopefully, I don't fall and die. Just not that thing, though. It's okay, though. But, um, so y'all hold on for one second. All right. Probably should move my TV for I got over. This, the uh, weight gainer that I take is a prime uh, mass weight gainer. Got 55 grams of protein. Yeah, of course it's prime. 55 grams of, pro grams of protein, 223 carbs, 1160 calories, 17 servings. So I actually got two bags of this up here on the uh, top bunk. Um, plus to take a gram of protein for every pound of, uh, that you weigh. So I usually mix this in too. It got 60 grams of protein. Actually, get all the protein that I need. Um, just taking one uh, drink. So I actually do two drinks in the day. I usually get a little bit more protein than I really need. 60 plus 55. That'll be 120 minus 5. That'll be 115 plus 150. Yeah, I'm getting more protein than I actually need. But your body get rid of whatever you don't need. So. Um, I usually take more than I really need, but I usually mix that in there or whatever to give me what I need. Um, 
and the mask gun to give me, you know, all the protein, I mean, all the uh, calories and stuff I need. So, how do I work out on the truck? This right here is the bench that I use. I don't know how it's gonna show up on the camera, but the uh, bench is M-A-R-C-Y. M-A-R, my uh, thing just cut off, M-A-R-C-Y. So that's the uh, protein that I use. This right here is the, uh, the dumbbells that I use. Hope y'all can see that pretty good. I'm gonna tell you something, how stupid I am. I went to Prime, they sell these at Prime. I bought one at Prime, thinking that it had both dumbbells in there. Picked the box up, only one dumbbell. So, I had to buy two. Um, it's actually cheaper, it's actually cheaper at Prime to buy it too. I bought it, at, I looked it up online, on um, Amazon. It actually was cheaper to buy it through Prime than it was uh, buying it through Amazon. Why, well, I don't know, but it was. So that's the dumbbells I use. I got other stuff up here like resistant bands. I got uh, on days that I do cardio or whatever. I got boxing gloves, so just in case I can't jog, I can go out there and spar a couple rounds or whatever. I used to do a little bit of boxing, but I can spar a couple rounds uh, and keep my cardio pretty good. Um, I got a jump rope. I got all kind of workout stuff up here on the top bunk. Um, what else I got up here? Um, I got my bank, or I call it bank. Um, while I'm out here on the road, this ain't the flicks neither. While I'm out here on the road, I normally don't spend ones. I usually go in the store, whatever I buy, I um, just take the ones and just throw them in the box. Later on, I count them up or whatever, you know, and just like, and just save them, be honest with you, I don't even spend them. But uh, yeah, um, I also got my computer here. I got a printer up here. So I can print stuff from the business or whatever. I got a computer up here. Um, a blanket that I use at nighttime. And then the bars and stuff that I have to use on, for my uh, power rack, which the power rack is on the back of the truck. I'll show y'all that in a second. But the bars, it's bars that go in the middle and in between in the stuff. It's up, so actually up here on the top bunk. Um, I got a couple pair of shoes and all that good stuff or whatever. Stuff y'all probably don't even care about, but I got that up here. Um, over here in this uh, little cover right here, I used to keep all my cleaning supplies, my uh, Febreze, I got my washing, uh, laundry detergent, um, fabric softener, all that good stuff in there. Uh, whatever books I'm reading at the time, well, if I ain't reading it, but if I done bought a book and done read it, I usually throw it up there um, to check back in. You know, if I need to read it again, I go back on it. I got the books in there. Um, let me get down if I end up falling. Hold on. All right, in this cabinet right here, I used to keep all my uh, nighttime clothes, like uh, well, what I sleep in, and I also uh, keep my workout uh, clothes in them, basketball shorts, t-shirts, whatever I work out in, I used to keep it out there, in this cabinet right here, or whatever. Um, let's see what else. Um, Y'all probably already seen this already, but in my TV. Um, Y'all probably can tell I got my PlayStation 5 was just back here playing the video game. I got Mafia, Mortal Kombat, UFC, Battlefield, Metal Gear, Batman, and some more. Bunch of more games or whatever. Do I get to play it often? No. The only reason I'm getting to play it today is because, you know, I'm waiting on the load. So I'm back here playing the video game. Um, behind the TV, I got the TV basically on the swivel. Normally what I do while I'm driving, let's see if I can figure out a way to hold it is. I got two bungees right here. So usually I just push the TV back in that little hole. It's a hole right here. I just push the TV back in the hole and then bungee it, bungee it down so that it don't be flying all over the place while I'm driving. So I'm rotating the TV out the way now. Behind the TV right here is my microwave. My PlayStation is actually right there. Y'all can't see it, but it, I don't know if you can see it. It's the camouflage, uh, whatever, PlayStation 4. And then on top of that, I got my DVD player. Um, right here on the side, if I can grab it, the darn microwave sitting on top of it. But my fire stick right there too. So normally, you know what I'm saying, if I want to get back here and watch a movie or watch whatever, I hook it up in the fire stick, hook the fire stick up and watch watch it. Um, that's some darn laundry detection that went fit up there in that, uh, in that cubby up there. Down in here, or whatever is usually where I keep all my little snacks and all that good stuff or whatever. Um, 
And then uh, my refrigerator is right here. It's black. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But this right here on here, that's my refrigerator. Um, usually when I'm driving, it's right there so I can reach it from when I'm, you know, in the driver's seat or whatever. I can still reach it or whatever, whatever. And normally these waters and the soda, like I said, is up there on the bed uh, while I'm driving. Uh, see what else we can go to. In this cabinet right here, I used to keep like the, the clothes I actually wear, you know, like when I'm out driving or whatever. Clothes are uh, in here that I actually wear. And then down here or whatever, I normally keep uh, my video games, my PlayStation games, uh, whatever book I'm reading at the time, and a little DVD series or something that I'm watching. Um, no, I told y'all in the last video, I do P90X, and I also do Body Beast. That's the P90X, I got it right there by the bed. Uh, I'm gonna grab Body Beast for y'all. I actually, I'm doing Body Beast today. So that's why, it's a folder right here. But uh, I'm actually doing Body Beast today, so that's why I got the folder down. The folder usually up there on the top bunk. But here's my Body Beast. So, uh, yeah. Now with the, uh, We'll jump back to that in a second. This very bottom, it's a, another little cubby down here at the bottom. And that cubby I used to keep uh, PD, uh, flea and tick stuff, his uh, heartworm medicine, uh, you know, to prevent him getting heartworms. My uh, clippers to cut my hair, Q-tips, uh, you know, stuff like that to keep in that uh, drawer down at the bottom. Uh, use on the top bunk till I got like my spoons and forks. Napkins and all that good stuff is up uh, on the top bunk. Um, there's also a reason why I don't train. One, for safety. safety. Two, because I got so much stuff on the top bunk, they wouldn't even have nowhere to sleep when we park anyway. And then th third reason, your boy Petey bark all the time when we driving. Like, he bark all the time. We get out the side of the truck, he can see a dog or something, he won't bark at it, but inside the truck, we hit the brakes, speed up, go across a bridge. If a truck pull up beside us, like he bought at everything. It was a train went by earlier, he was barking at it. Um, so that's basically it for the back. Um, ain't gonna show y'all up front, cause up front is dirty. Um, I used to keep Petey dog food in front of his uh, seat on the floor. I mix uh, wet dog food, wet dry dog food, or whatever, he, he, I just made him some up, he ain't ate it yet. But I usually just mix it together, it's actually in a pot. But it's easier because I can grab it like this. So I got it in the pot. His water is right beside his uh, seat. He probably gonna start barking now. Yeah, maybe he ain't. Uh, right beside his seat or whatever. And then I'll show y'all this real quick. I only I can't flip this damn thing around. Uh, my Ramonelli GPS is up here. I just got a, a bag right there. And then like. When I park, I usually put a, just a regular sheet across the uh, window to keep the sun out and also too, when I get back in to work out, usually I have this, you know what I'm saying, slid all the way open because I need as much space as possible. I usually have my shirt off. Ain't nobody want to see that nasty mess. So I got my shirt off, whatever, and we back here working out. And then I'll take these little uh, handkerchiefs I bought, which one is John Deere, well, it's both on John Deere, but one John Deere green, and then this other John Deere one, whatever, and I put it over the one, you know, try to get a little bit of privacy or whatever. And, uh, you know, I get back in, I get it in. Uh, let's see. Okay, up there in the top right there is just basically some uh, baseball caps and stuff like that. Right there, I usually keep, like, flavored water. These joints off the chain. If you, like, if you have a hard time drinking water, yo, buy these off the chain. But, uh, yeah, I keep that over there. Um, I don't keep nothing. There. I used to keep, like, ketchup and stuff in there, but I buy my ketchup now. And in this drawer right here, I basically usually keep my vitamins, B12, vitamin E, and the kind of I got some cups. <laughs> I got some Subway cookies in there now, and I keep my Calm Delta chips in here. Uh, above me right here. I keep my gloves or toboggan, which I probably call it a scully or whatever. I keep that up there at the top. And then in here, I just keep a whole bunch of napkins, whatever, that way. 
spill some, of course, you know, uh, wipe my face and all that good stuff. Um, it's a little cubby, like right up under your CD player up at the front. I used to keep hand sanitizer right there. Um, of course, I mess with the dog and stuff all the time or whatever. So, I hand, you know, my hand sanitizer. And uh, that's basically it of the truck, man. You know, like I said, my truck ain't clean. The back normally stay cleaner than the front do. Of course, because, you know, me and Peter in and out bringing dirt and stuff inside and out or whatever. But uh, the back usually stay cleaner than the front. But, of course, like y'all can see, the back ain't clean because we out here running. And, two, we had got back and got comfortable. Like I said, that those sodas and that uh, water is usually on the bed. But uh, I ain't got it on the bed right now. So y'all give me a second. I'm about to put my boots on. I'm going to go outside and show y'all my power rack. Uh, before I tell you, uh, go out there and do the power rack thing. With that bench, if I take it down and I have the bench, like, not the part that's, this part that's going down, thing. Like, this part right here that's going down, that's the head of the bench. If I had that towards the front of the truck, like, you know, facing the steering wheel, and had the other part facing the bed, if I push it all the way to the front, it'll fit, you know, it'll fit in here. I have a couple inches to play, but it'll fit in between the seats, in between his seat and my seat, or whatever, and I have a couple inches of play, so I can push it all the way, basically all the way, all the way to the front of the truck. I can't even show y'all, really. But, uh, yeah, I have noticed. So say like, I ain't got my other shoe on yet neither, but say if I'm up front and I'm trying to do like an actual bench, you know what I'm saying? But I'm doing it with the dumbbells. I have to lift the driver's seat all the way down. My passenger seat is usually all the way down anyway for uh, it make it a little bit easier for people to get up there. But I have to let the driver's seat all the way down and slide it all the way back. So let it all the way down and slide it all the way back. Um, when I do like an incline bench, uh, you know, y'all know I'm a small dude. Um, I can do it, but it's a struggle. Like, I have to let the bench up. And I have to, like, take the weights and, like, kind of, like, put my arms past the seats first and then, you know, try to work out or whatever. It's rough. Don't get me wrong. Like, it is kind of rough, but it can be done. And I'm a smaller guy, so it might not work out for you bigger guys. You might want to watch somebody that's a little bit bigger, how they work out on the truck. Um... So if it's raining or something like that, I usually use the top bunk to do pull-ups. I won't go outside and do them. I use the top bunk to do pull-ups. Um, I've done push-ups on the bed before. I've did, you know, done sit-ups on the bed. I usually just make Petey come up front like he is now and lay on the uh, on his seat. And uh, I do the push-ups and pull-ups. I mean, not pull-ups. Push-ups and uh, sit-ups and stuff on the bed. Um, I just try to make it work. Now, uh, like I said, you know what I'm saying, yo, this money is not worth your lifespan being short or stuff. You got to, you know, get out there and look crazy, whatever, do what you got to do. At the end of the day, it's going to benefit you. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm going to jump outside, go show y'all the power rack on the back of the truck. And like I said, the bars that go in the middle of the power rack, like the part that you actually grab on to lift yourself up, and there's a bar at the bottom to keep the, you know, the thing stable or whatever, it's up there on the top bunk. But I'm jump out, show y'all that real quick. Sign out, that be the end of the video. So, try to hold this up for a second because I don't want y'all to see some stuff. I hope y'all can hear me. But, this black thing right here, I got my hand on, it's two of them. That's one, and that's the other one right there. I just got it, I hope y'all can hear me. I just got it, Uh, basically, a ratchet strap on it. I had one at the bottom too. I took the one at the bottom off because it, uh, it really wasn't holding there. So I just got the ratchet tra strap at the top or whatever. Usually when I get uh, uh, get somewhere, and I, I'm gonna go back inside to make sure y'all can hear me. But usually when I get, uh, back up man. Usually when I get somewhere and I got the turn to actually pull the, uh, pull the power right down or whatever, I move them low locks out the way, just toss them on the ground right quick. Uh, I, Loosen the ratchet straps or whatever. Put the power around, rack down. I usually got my, you know, my bolts and stuff, and my ratchet like stay together. So I just go ahead and throw. It's like maybe four bolts. I think it's four. Yeah, two at the top. No, it's four at the top, and it might be four at the bottom. So it's like eight bolts. I think I ain't did it in a while, but uh, it's like eight bolts or whatever. 
throw them in real quick, go ahead and do the workout, and then um, I jump back in the truck. Now, some of y'all probably wondering, uh, how do you do the workout outside the truck if you're doing P90X or Body Beast? Which is a good question. Show y'all this real quick. I got a portable DVD player, right? So I put the DVD in the portable DVD player. I went to Walmart, I think it was, and I bought a 100 foot drop cord. Um, and basically whenever I park, I try to find me a good spot to park. And I make sure it's basically enough room in between me and the other truck. I take the darn drop cord and run it out the darn window. And you know, leave a little gap in the window, run it out the window, take my portable DVD player outside, turn the DVD player on while it's booting up. Because if y'all got P90s, you know, it's going to be ro rolling through some, you know, stuff that it's play all the time that ain't got nothing to do with, you know, technically your workout. I get my weights, my uh, workout gloves, um, my, you know, resistor bands, whatever I need. Uh, I got a little mat that I lay down on the ground and all that stuff. And I take all of it outside while it's booting up get my water and all that good stuff while it's booting up. And that's how I work out outside. I run the damn cord out the, uh, out the window and I work out outside. The days I'm inside the truck, instead of using the DVD player, I normally use the portable uh, the portable DVD player. I don't play it on the big TV. Why, I don't know, but it's just, it's just what I do. I guess it's because I'm just using used to using the uh, portable DVD player. But um, that's basically all I had to really get into. I want to... Uh, just tell y'all how I work out on the truck. Um, like I told y'all before, I done put on about 40 uh, good pounds. Some of y'all probably can tell I put on a little bit of weight. But uh, yeah, I put on about 40 uh, good pounds. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I'm about to go back there, turn this darn game off, and we actually about to get a workout in. I got to do legs today, and I planned on doing it today while they was loading the truck or whatever. And then I was going to do... Uh, the workout I was supposed to do, because I didn't do a workout yesterday. And the workout I was supposed to do today, I was going to do it after I got finished driving, whatever. But since I got here and they didn't load me, I'm going to go ahead and uh, knock both of them out. I'm going to go ahead and do the leg one. The legs work out now, then I'll wait a little bit and do the other one. But anyway, with that being said today, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Mandolin trucking, all gas, no brakes, no days off. I only know a few of y'all names, and most of y'all still don't know my name. That's that y'all keep me y'all present thoughts, and I'll do the same thing for y'all. Mandalayan Trucking is out. I ask that y'all have a safe one, man. Please like and subscribe. Whatever. Got any questions, hit your boy up. We out.